Y'all, it's your boy, Jay Cadence. I'm back at you with another word of encouragement. Man, I got to tell you, a lot of us are in the same position for real. A lot of us are in the same boat. A lot of us are experiencing similar conditions, um, good things, bad things. A lot of us are in the same season, and that's why some of you will click on this video um, because what I give to you, the encouragement that I I give to you, I have to experience it for myself first. You know what I'm saying? And um, this gonna go for this is a little side point. This gonna go for everything that you ever that you ever do that you wanna you know call yourself expert in or professional in. You gotta you gotta be the first one to fall and learn how to get up before you tell somebody else. You got to be the first one to taste something to see if it's nasty or good or whatever the case is. And so um, you ever wonder why you go through you go through things more in a certain area than other people? Sometimes it's showing choices, but other times it's like the Lord is like, this is your area. This is what I need. I need you to. I need you. I'm giving you my my apostle. He say earned authority. He wants to give you a right to speak into something by having overcome it or learned it, having experienced the the benefits of it, blessings of it, whatever the case is. Um, and so I come to you with something encouraging um, that didn't feel encouraging while it was happening. Um, I just wanted to to give you guys that that little side note that is just something extra to help you out but you know i've been very tired past couple weeks i've been um running my own haircutting business and um you know soon to be hairstylist cosmetologist business because i'm i'm getting ready to get certified in everything uh as much as possible uh, but right now I'm a barber and um, I've been running that, but I've also been making merch for my nonprofit um, rebuild initiative, which is geared toward young adults. Um, and any, any, everybody can benefit from it, but I, I started it with the, um, the target audience of young adults, 18 to 35 people who are struggling to build or rebuild their lives after high school. It's tough between 18 and 25. A lot of people don't make it. Um, Links to the Facebook group will be down in the description. But anyway, I've been doing different things. I've also been recording my next um, mixtape and album. So two projects I'm working on. Um, different things. And along with just personal development, self-development, relationships with family and friends, trying to maintain all of these things and, um, you know, exercise, eating right trying to maintain all of that stuff. It's not for the weak. It's not for the faint. It's not for um, those who expect life to be easy uh, or fair. It's not for those who, I don't know, all those things I just said. And it was just, you know, I had been really just feeling weary, Lord, like, God, first of all, I'm grateful for all of these things that I'm doing. I know that it's I'm where I'm I'm supposed to be. Um but I'm I'm just I'm getting weary. I'm not seeing results as quick as I want to see them. Uh I feel overlooked, I feel undervalued uh by those around me. And um I'm 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 waiting for certain promises to come to pass, waiting for um certain financial goals, uh certain connections to be formed that I need certain people to finally listen to the advice I'm trying to give them. I'm waiting for maturity in my own self. I'm waiting for um, marriage, you know, a lot of different things. And I'm like, God, I'm just, how long? When does it, when does it get easier? When will I see the promise? I keep hearing prophecies. I just got prophesied to the other day. My apostle felt he had a word from the uh, the Lord for me, and it was on point. But 
sometimes you ever been in this place where you you keep getting words from this per, this place and that place and they be so on point but it gets to a point where you you stop being encouraged by it because you're like okay when okay when okay you keep god you keep saying here it is here it is it's coming it's coming it's coming and it's like oh fuck. oh when god like when all you just keep hearing is it's coming and you go like god in, though and I, I was in that place couldn't even get out of bed uh, much uh, some days um till late in the day and this this one day I got out of bed at two o'clock and I and I told God all of this and three specific encouraging things came to me that day um encouraging words from like three or four different sources personal and just um something i seen on youtube and here i am about a week later and i'm i'm I, I still haven't really gotten good sleep part of it is i really need to control my um when i get to bed um, but another part of it is you know i gotta wake up early and even when i get to bed like nine i don't sleep long i wake up too early I don't sleep through the night. Um, you know, I go to bed at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, wake up at 12, 1, 2. And it's like, and sometimes I'll just stay up really and get work, some work done. But then I got to, you know, when I finally get to sleep, or by the time I, you know, and, and feel like I need a break, I got I got something else to do. I, You know, I got barber school. That's another thing. Here comes barber school. At freaking nine in the morning, you know what I'm saying? I already, I already done stayed up from like two to six in the morning. Now I gotta turn around and do barber school at nine in the morning, and I gotta get my personal time, some more personal time in with the Lord eventually. Uh, so, you know, I was just, it's, it's a lot. Um, you know, and personal time with the Lord isn't, it shouldn't be a chore. I'm not saying it like that. Um, you know. Because he is the one that directs you in all those other things. But I'm just saying, schedule-wise, there's a lot of things on the schedule. And today, I actually just picked up a part-time job to, um, to help until my barber business takes off. I've always wanted to be a server, and now I'm a server. And now I've got my name tag here. Um, and... This is what the encouraging word is about today. I'm sorry for the long introduction, but I had to give you some background. Um, so hopefully you've been making it this far. Today I get up and it's another day where I didn't sleep well. I got to bed kind of late. Um, family wanted me to watch Dave Chappelle with them after dinner. And I talked to a friend and I end up getting to bed late. You know, didn't sleep very well. Tried to go back to sleep throughout the whole, throughout the day. I had two people cancel on me for haircut appointments. Um, well, one just didn't even show or respond. And so I was kind of glad about that because I could get back to sleep. But then I couldn't sleep. And I knew I needed to work out, so I got up to work out <sighs> you know, after I couldn't sleep. Here we go. After I work out, got a shower and get ready for this part-time job. It's my second day. And I'm just so just, ugh, I got to go spend money on some shoes for for work, some non-slip shoes, restaurant game. You already know how that goes. Um, didn't want to drop the money on it, but I had to. I don't even remember how much it was. I don't even, $23 or something. I didn't even look at the price. I just got them because I knew I needed them. Um, but I didn't want to spend the money. <laughs> and um, here we go. I'm upset about that. I go get some lunch. I'm upset I got to spend money because I didn't have time to make food. And I don't like anything that I have at the house because um, I don't I don't buy the food. I don't like anything there. And um, I need to buy my own groceries. All these things weighing on me. You know, I'm like, dang, I need to buy groceries. And I'm feeling bad because I ain't buying no groceries. Kind of doing a little, you know, down to myself and stuff like that just feeling bad and whatever i get some mcdonald's for for lunch you know to, before i go to work and i take the big mac out somehow the top bun falls off 
and the burger falls between my seat. Now, you know how nasty it is between your seats. You know, you can vacuum and stuff, but there's certain parts you can't get. <laughs> and my burger fell down there between my seat. Oof. It'd be the little things that get you mad. So mad and ready to quit. It's the little things like that. They just pile up and pile up and pile up. And they make you mad and be ready to quit. So I'm driving to work. I put on some video, a couple of videos I'm listening to that's helping me in my mindset. They're very convicting, so it doesn't feel good, but it's what I needed to hear. I pull up to work, and here comes um, the song Worn by 10th Avenue North. And I love that song. A couple songs have played that I felt like, I, you know, I'm like, this is a good playlist, Lord. At least thank you for some good, my playlist acting right today. Um, <laughs> then Warren comes on and I'm like, great, God. Put this song on that I love and need to hear because I am Warren right when I'm about to get out the car to go to work. So I didn't I didn't do what I usually do and listen to the whole thing and end up being a couple minutes late. I just got out the car and like I'll listen to the song later. I know what the song says. I'll just meditate on it. I go into work and I got to fill out my new hire forms and um i'm just here again just sitting here feeling like ugh. pretty sure i wasn't the most like a chipper greeting my manager or anything like that i'm just like hey a little weak smile go through my paperwork and then at the end of the paper at the end of the paperwork my manager says i said she says oh i'm so tired i said me too that's why I, I asked you if I could, you know, just wait to do the paperwork today instead of yesterday. And she's like, oh, you know what? It's okay. Kayla called off work today. So you, you know, we don't even need you tonight. We're only doing to-go order. So you can just go home and get some rest. Oh. Guys, it's the little things. It's the little things. I'm telling you this to tell you this. I'm telling you this to tell you this. A lot of little things are going to pile up that really aggravate you, that make you want to quit. They they step on your last nerve. They get you down. They make you, you know, hate yourself, hate others, be resentful toward God or hate God. You know, all of these bad things be the little things. But God is so good because he comes with a little thing that cancels out 10 little bad things that just happened. One little thing. And this is why it's important to keep a good mood because, and, and this is for both, this is for all of us. I'll say both of us, like I'm just talking me and you. This is for both of us, me and you. You never know when God's going to send your deliverance. But here's the thing. He will send it. It's it's There's no doubt God's going to send your deliverance. So it's just a matter of when. Um, and because you can trust he's going to send it eventually, you just got to keep, keep, keep a good mood and look forward and hope. Look forward knowing he sees you, he cares about you, and that you just got to make it through this little, look, at the end of it all, when it's all said and done, just like at the end of that paperwork, which I hate doing paperwork, repeating the same information over and over again, at the end of it came my deliverance. I'm about to go in this house and get some good rest after I cut this person's hair. That's coming in real soon. I'm going to get some good rest. I'm a journal. I might work on something that I didn't get to. You know, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna take my time. I'm just so grateful to 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 the Lord for that. And here's another thing. Because your deliverance is coming later, it's imperative that you don't sleep your time away until it comes because honestly m most of just like for me today my deliverance came while going to work okay 
God is going to give you your deliverance in the middle of doing what you're doing what you have to do. Sleeping your life away is not going to help the problem. It's actually going to prolong the deliverance. That's why I had to get up and work out earlier. Cuz I'm like if if I don't get up, it's another thing. If I didn't get up, I would have felt even worse. Cuz I'm like, dang, I missed another day of working out. So we guys, we got to be strong. We got to be strong. And I pray that the Lord gives you that little thing that you need or those little things that you need to spur you along, to just help you believe a little bit more in his goodness, help you believe a little bit more that he, he does have plans to prosper you. He does have plans. Um, he does have a hope in the future for you. But if you read the verses after twenty nine Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, when you seek me, you'll find me. So a lot of it is contingent upon the fact or upon whether you seek God and don't give up. Don't get weary and well doing for in due, in due season you will reap all that you have sown and be not do not be deceived. You will reap what you sow. So that goes that goes for, you know, it's either way. Don't be weary and well doing because you're going to reap what you sow. However, if you do get weary and well doing, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to reap a lack of resources because you would not put yourself into being a resource for somebody else. You wouldn't show up for the things God told you to show up for. And you're just going to keep being in a circle, a cycle of lack. So it's for all of us. But I pray you're strengthened in, in the name of Jesus until the day of deliverance. I pray that you you get it deep down in your soul that he who began to get work in you will continue it and complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. I pray that you have the, the endurance and the strength to stick it out to the end. And no matter when that end comes, it could be in the next couple minutes. And if it does, give God all the glory. Don't get mad like, oh, I shouldn't have took this long. No, be grateful. And apply yourself, apply God's word so that because what you do, you will be an agent in your own deliverance. It's not just going to fall into your lap a lot of times. God says, as you show up, I will deliver you. And you're going to look back and you and realize that, dang, I didn't even notice I was my deliverance came by my own hand. Because I applied myself to what God told me to do. So I pray all these things in the name of Jesus for all of us. Amen. Guys, I love you. Visit NewNatureInc.com. Get your Rebuild merch. Get your New Nature merch. Um, play J. Cadence music. You will be greatly encouraged. I promise you. Join the Rebuild Initiative group. Um, and, and get involved with with what we're doing uh we're you know invite other young adults to the group invite people who you know need this encouragement um to the group share this video like it please like the video because it will help you know it'll help my youtube channel out and help more people to see my videos and be encouraged um yeah until the next time peace <laughs>